Relationships, fashion, trends, and all things topical. She is the content queen. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Time to find out what Christy's blogging about on Fly 92.3. Here she is, Christy Gustafson Barletti, Times Union, TimesUnion.com. The blog is on the edge. Good morning, Christy. Good morning, Christy. How's it going? Good. Well, we, you know, we were talking Friends yesterday. Yeah, we were, and not the sitcom, even no. though everybody thinks that that should come back and they should do some kind of reunion show. <laughs> That's true. I, I will always talk that kind of Friends, too. <laughs> but we were talking Friends because earlier this week, this new app came out. It was It's called Vina, and essentially it's like the Tinder for Friends, for girl space, 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 space friends. So nothing romantic, huh. just friends. And essentially you just you find people to hang out with who have similar interests. And this got us thinking, how has friendship changed in the age of social media and apps and just in life? And how friend, the friends you have and the way you make friends in your 20s is so different than the way you do it in your 30s mm-hmm. or your 40s or even beyond. We had like a, almost a heated discussion yesterday and Brian was a part of that discussion. Yes. And um, he's he's 42, I'm 43, Jess is 26. Okay, phew. She was sitting in here and I didn't want to get it wrong. <laughs> 20 you're 27 oh my gosh I did get it wrong Christy sorry sorry she's 27 (laughs) and Christy do you mind me asking no I'm 38 okay and Christy's 38 so it got us thinking about um and that app what's the name of it again it's called Vina are people really using this and what ages are they you know the thing is it just launched this week and my guess is even though we know that people in their 20s definitely find a lot of friends I think you know it's their, their their most social group they go out and they find friends my guess is this is for people, especially women, well, it is for women, who are in their 40s. Because I think when you're in your 40s, so much of your friendships are, are based on Facebook. You live on Facebook. You communicate on Facebook. You share all these links that you think are funny to things like Scary Mommy and just weird, right. wacky stories. And, right. and you, know, you post your status updates, and, and that's how you communicate, which is just so different than how you make and keep friends when you're in your 20s. You know, I was thinking about this too, and and I'm 43, and I was think, and Brian asked me, he goes, "Well, how do you meet new friends?" And I literally looked at him in the face, and I go, "I don't, I don't have time for it." I know this is going to sound like I'm a big bitch, but I don't really, I don't. And I told him that I said, you know, I have a core high school friend, so we get together once a year, and I keep in touch with them throughout the year, but I don't seek out new people if I I moved into a new neighborhood so I have new friends that way but other than that I don't really seek out new people to let in my life and I think it's because I'm at a point in my life where I don't want to rehash all the stuff and who I am with with all the stuff that has happened to me and there's so much for people to kind of catch up on it yes you know I often think about it when when I was in my 20s one of my very good friends got married and she was my colleague and she invited a lot of our colleagues. And at the time, I, I don't even know if I was dating somebody, but I thought, oh, if I got married, I would invite you know, 20 of my colleagues or this many people here and there. And then I got married at 31 or 32, and then the guest list was smaller. And I think if I got married today, the guest list as a whole would be even smaller because I think, you're right, you don't have as much time as you get older. Mm-hmm. You start to realize who are your true good you friends. You weed them out. Been there for yeah. Everything, the people who make efforts, who reach out to you. One of the commenters... Um, on Facebook said he realized who his real friends were, or excuse me, she, when her dad died. She said one of her close friends didn't say anything, didn't say anything on her Facebook status, didn't reach out to her, didn't text or call or anything. And she's like, somebody else was just liked my status. And she said at that point, oh my gosh. she realized that when, you know, a real friend doesn't just like your status when your dad dies. They right. call you or follow up on you. And I think social media lets us kind of gauge that. And she said she talked to it with another friend, too, who said, you know, whatever this other person's name is, I can't believe they didn't actually reach out to you. But in the age of social media, especially... In they the, feel they like study, that's enough. You think that if you've just liked the status, you've now, or even if on your best friend's birthday, you just, I know your favorite line is HBD. Oh, my God, just I hate HBD, that. Jeez. But if you're 20, that's okay. Right, that's accepted. My and friendship is still as strong as ever. If I'm 20 and you write HBD or like my status when somebody dies. Right, But wow. at 40 or 30, you are looking for something deeper, and that's not enough. You know, it's funny you say that because um, I have college friends, their birthdays, a lot of them, for some reason, are in January. And I don't even write on their walls. I actually either text or physically call them because I feel like it's deeper than just a Facebook Face, Facebook page 
to, to wish them a happy birthday. It's deeper than that. Like I'll, I'll reach out and I'll text. And not that text is, you know, my, my mom might be thinking, text is such a cold response too. But that's the world we live in. And I think Facebook at my age, in my early 40s, is just not enough. And, you know, the thing, too, is that you kind of get online and you just you see this and you think, oh, well, that's easy. And I think that's the thing. You know, you said you don't want to necessarily make the effort now. I think social media has made us lazy in friendships. Mm-hmm. I think of one of my, you know, one of my good friends, and, and she lives locally, and I don't see her nearly as often as I like. And I think sometimes we often think we're both in our 30s. And we often think if we just kind of check in on Facebook, oh, that's good enough. Right. I know what you're doing. Let's have dinner right. or let's talk or let's get together. And because that's, that's now okay, whereas before social media, if you never saw somebody, well, that's not really, or never talked to them, and they live right there. You know, right. In another state. That's not really a, a friendship because a friendship is about seeing and hanging out and being social and having common ground and shared interests. You know, though, a lot of uh, people in their 20s, and I'm not. I'm tr- going to try not to generalize here, but I think with social media, and it's not just Facebook because, honestly, the people in their 20s don't really use Facebook right. anymore. They're but tagging the, each other on Instagram. It's Instagram. It's the Snapchat. Snapchat and so yeah. they feel like they see each other for how many seconds it is. Mm-hmm. And um, they've checked in. And I think they feel that that's more of a personal connection. And they do have those friends. They still go out with them occasionally. But they feel like if I check in with my friend on Snapchat, they know I'm okay. And it's a little different than when you get older, where it's a phone call, <laughs> I feel. Well, and also when you say about the effort, like when you're in your 20s, you just you, you want to go out all the time and have a lot of fun, and it's about being really social. And I think when you get older, too, your priorities change. You you don't recover as well the next day. Oh, yeah. You're more tired, and you just think, all right, well, I, I'd rather have a couple of really good friends who know my life history, who I can call in the middle of, you know, like an emotional or physical or whatever family crisis, And we can just pick up where we left off, and they know everything. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to say, oh, okay, well, you didn't know that this also happened 10 years ago, and that happened. Right. You try to catch them up. And, you know, in your 30s, too, and you made a good point in your your blog, that in your 30s, your your circles shrink, and it becomes... Who are the parents of your your kids' friends? Like if you go to soccer, you know, every week, you become friendly, and now you're making new friends, but that's because of your kid. Right, and you may <laughs> like not even relate almost. to them in the same way, and you might not yes. have been friends otherwise, but you just think, oh, you know, we both have three-year-old boys, and they both pick their nose and scale the kitchen cabinet. Right. <laughs> yeah, let's have lunch, because that's enough of a system. Because we're relatable now. Yeah. yeah, and then that's it. And then you end up going out, and all you do is talk about your three-year-old boys who do this, as opposed to, you know, a friendship, which, which is obviously, I get it, that's a huge part of your life. I mean, sure. I'm a parent. I, I understand right. that. But, but it's different. It's, it's now different a totally different friendship. Than where you used to just go. And then also, if your kids don't end up caring for each other, then can you continue your Yeah, friendship? that's that's all of the questions that you ask yourself as you get older. You're right. Christy, thank you. I like this topic, and it'll live on your blog and also, um, also on your Facebook page. It's on our Facebook page, too, if people want.